know, the, this journey started late September, um, and it happened by glancing at a missions brochure, and on the back it had uh, a trip to Israel. My heart was drawn by this trip, and so over the course of my fall semester, I was really excited for the opportunity that I was going to be able to go to Israel. However, there was this unsettling amount of fear, worry, doubt, and anxiety that was just attacking my heart. And so my mind and my heart were in consistent battle every day. And I thought, what am I going to do? So every waking moment I had, I would just say, God, show me that this is the right opportunity for me. Towards the beginning of the year, I committed to God this one thing, and that was trust. And trust was such a big key for me this year. So the beginning week of February, I had a decision to make what, to either quit in going to Israel or continue to go. And I was telling God, I need to hear from you now. Because if this is part of your will, you will make a way. And if it's not, then tell me now. And of course he was silent for the course of the next couple of weeks. And so I attended a conference call, Louder Than Words, hosted by Pastors Paul and Ashley Doherty. And so in the last session with Pastor Paul, he did a corporate prophetic word. And it went along the lines of like this. There have been some of you struggling on going on a missions trip. You've been fighting, you've been battling, and you don't know if you're going to go. And so as soon as he said that, I kind of like looked in the sky and I was like, is this really you? You know, tell me. So Pastor Paul went on and finished and said that you need to go to wherever God has called you to go. And as soon as he said that, the Holy Spirit whispered in my ear and said, you're going to go to Israel. And so I just felt this peace over my life, knowing that one, God told me I was going, and two, He was going to make a way for me. So throughout this whole experience of trusting in Him, God was surely faithful, He definitely made a way, and I have never been at peace for so long in such a long time. So what was the purpose of me explaining this whole journey, this whole story since last September? You know, without a doubt, I never doubted God to begin with, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for your contributions. Today I can tell you and I stand that I officially have made the 100% deadline of going to summer missions for Israel this, this upcoming May. You know, God has just blessed me in so many ways that, one, I had no words to express, and two, I just want to also thank my uh, social media supporters who have just got the word out. For those of you who have contributed, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. I know this journey was not hard, and it wasn't easy either, but I'm really glad though that we could be able to partner in being the hands and feet of Jesus for Israel this summer. I do ask you though for one more favor, and that is that you keep me and my team and the other teams going out for missions this summer in prayer. I know there's some who are still needing finances. I ask you that you continue to pray for them and that you continue to just pray that we as a team are united, we're strong, and that we can make it there and back to Israel. And once again, I just want to give glory to God just for simply having Him move in your heart to bless me for this trip. Thank you so much, friends and family, for just your contributions, your prayers. I honor you, I thank you, and I will keep you updated throughout my journey in Israel. God bless.